everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel i'm victoria i'm a mum of two girls and we're a little family of four on the southeast coast of the uk now today i have a requested video i asked on my channel last week what sort of videos you would like to see and there was a few members who came up with the idea of a q a now it's been a long time since i've done a q a and i've only done one other now some of these uh, questions will be exactly the same to the other one but i thought there's so many new subscribers on here that I'll just keep these ones in and then they can watch this one rather than trying to start, find my old one. So I have a fair few questions and I have written them all sort of short so I don't know who sent them or anything. There were a few that were quite um, doubled up but I'm going to start with the first one which is probably one of the most common is do I want more kids? I personally would like one more. Liam is not so keen. Um, he really struggled with Olivia when she was first born because of her silent reflux um, we had no idea what it was and it was horrendous time I must admit <clears throat> and he ends up sleeping on the sofa for like six months bless him so yeah I can understand where he's coming from but I really would like just one more um but then I would be done three would be my limit I think um but yeah <laughs> next is job or dream job so both at the moment, me and Liam aren't working. Liam is actually waiting for surgery on his toe. Nothing major, but he um, has had a couple of interviews and they, they said they'll see him after he's had the surgery. We just don't know when it's happening yet. So that is the pain in the bum. Um, at the moment, I'm just a stay-at-home mum with the girls and, well, with Olivia and she's at nursery at the moment. Um, my dream job would probably be in a hospital. I was planning on becoming a nurse years and years ago and then I started having anxiety and my anxiety is actually a fear of dying so I really didn't think that was the best place for me to go at the time um but I would like something in the care industry or NHS or even a TA I don't think I would be a teacher maybe a TA something along them sort of lines but yeah that's my dream job anyway um <coughs> right kids favorite food this was one that was really random actually I thought this was a little bit different to what I've been asked before and our favorite food or go-to meals so I'm gonna say oh, Olivia's favorite food is pasta she will eat pasta till the cows come home she loves it and Lil's favorite is probably just chicken nuggets um in that way they both love ice cream as well and then my favorite food is <clears throat> savory food I love paella I love it so much and then sweet stuff is probably a toss between fries, peppermint creams and fries, Turkish delight. I love it. Um, and my go our go-to meal is probably pasta bake, especially when Liam is out and about because I love pasta and the girls do. So yeah, that's what I normally go to. Right, me and Liam, how long have we been together and how did we meet? So me and Liam have actually been together 15 years on the 25th of May. Not 100% sure when this is going up, it might be before or after, but 25th of May, we've been together 15 years. Um, he actually proposed to me on my 17th birthday, so the same year that we got together. And I'm still waiting for a wedding ring. Red wedding ring. Um, that's not appeared yet, but obviously money. Um, and how do we meet? It's not the best story. Gonna put it out. <laughs> I'm gonna put it out there. We kind of knew each other from school. Um, we went to the same school together. He was in the year above. We kind of knew each other that way very, very slightly we'd know each other by like literally a wave or a hi not even name basis until my best friend was with him but then they were all over they were still friends she invited me to her birthday party we got a little bit drunk um i ended up kissing him and 15 years later here we are two kids later um so yeah it wasn't the best put together but maybe it gave us a confidence to tell each other we liked each other i'm not sure um, because I kind of had a crush on him, I already knew he had a crush on me through Heather um, and it was literally just seeing each other in school, like we hadn't really spoken or anything, it was so weird but yeah that is how me and Liam got together next, ideal holiday slash any plans sadly no plans for a holiday at the moment Jack, our cat, is um, not great with people so trying to find someone to look after him is a little bit of a pain in the bum but my ideal holiday would be Disneyland. Take the girls to Disneyland, go and experience the Harry. It would be had no, it would be had to be Disney World with Universal. I don't know which one it is, the one with the Harry Potter stuff. Um, but I'd love the girls to meet all the characters and just have the magic of the parades and the shows. 
and then also me going to see Hogwarts and that, that would be my dream. Anything local would be North Wales, I love North Wales, um, or Cornwall, I've never been to Cornwall, always wanted to try it out, so yeah, um, in the UK it would be them two places. My favourite subject at school, okay, this was history. Um, I absolutely loved learning about history, I still love history, I love the Tudor era, era? I love the Tudor era with King Henry VIII and his wives. I also love the Victorian era. I learned a lot about that in primary school and secondary school. And then I also learned about medicine through time. That was part of my GCSE. And I absolutely loved learning all the facts, like um, literally how they create antibiotics, how they used to treat headaches, which is scary as hell. Um, there's so many different things that have brought us to where we are today. And I think we're very lucky where we are today in medicine but yeah that's changed a little bit but yeah history is my favorite subject favorite a country i would like to visit and why now this is gonna be a little bit random i'd like to go to germany i went to germany back in 2005 my mum's friend who she knew from uh, for a very long time um they were students that come over from germany and stayed with my mum when she was quite young well, back in 2005, we actually travelled over to Germany and I met them, met him and his wife and I stayed in their house and went to the Nürburgring. So I'd love to go back and visit them and take my kids over and show them. He actually attended my christening and everything. So I, we still contact through email, but I would love to go over and see them properly and give them a big hug and introduce my, my kids and make some more memories with them. I think that would be amazing. My favourite ice cream flavour mint chocolate chip <laughs> any day of the week mint chocolate chip love it um baby boy names we would have liked to have used if Lils and olivia were boys now we actually have names picked if they were boys so it was gonna be charlie when lily was a baby we had lily and charlie picked up picked out um absolutely love the name charlie still but i don't think we'd use it now i've thought of not for my own child, I know a few Charlies and I think it would be like I'm copying them. And then for um, Olivia, it was actually Oliver and Liam picked Olivia saying it just sounds so similar and it just worked. So yeah, that would have been the names we would have picked if the girls had been boys. Surprising thing about me, I really don't know. I read this question and I really wanted to do it but I really don't know the answer. <laughs> Um, okay, I don't know whether this will be surprising or not, but I was actually a young carer from pretty much when I was born. <laughs> not so much, but when um, my dad went back to work, I used to look after my mum. My mum was in a wheelchair from before I can even remember. Um, she was born hip with hip dysplasia. So I used to help her prepare dinner. I used to wash her hair for her. Um, I used to like help her on and off the bed, I used to get her medication when I was older, obviously. Um, I used to steal her wheelchair and joy ride, joy ride around the flat. Um, and yeah, I suppose that's my thing that people may, may surprise people. Um, I'm really not sure other than that. So next one is, who is the strictest parent? Probably Liam. I try to be. Um, the, girl, the girls don't listen to me so I'm going to say Liam he is a amazing dad and yeah I don't know they just listen to him better than me I don't know whether it's because he's dad I think I used to listen to my dad more than my mum I'm not sure my star sign is a Virgo I was born on the 5th of September Lil's star sign is also a Virgo and then both Liam and Olivia are Aries they were both born in that sort of era so yeah, that's our star signs. Marriage plans. And I'm going to put the moving plans here as well. So marriage plans. I would absolutely love to get married. It's just the cost of getting married in general. Um, I have always wanted to get married. I wish my mum could have been there when I got married. But obviously, yeah, um, things happen. And we would love to move from this place. I would love a nice fresh start. Especially because I've lived up here pretty much most of my life. 
I would love a fresh start in a little house with a little garden. I don't want anything much. I just want a little garden that the girls can play in. A little house that we've got space and stairs that I've never really had. <laughs> and I don't know, just just a little home. That's all I really want. Um, handling negative comments. I just delete them nowadays. I used to take offence to them. I used to read them and feel proper rubbish. But now if I get a negative comment, I just delete them. Or you lovely people fight my battles for me. I've seen so many sort of arguments, not arguments, um, opinions in the comments where you've stood up for me and that's meant a lot. So thank you so much. Do your friends and family know about my YouTube channel? Some, yes. I don't try and hide it. Um, but I've never really openly gone, I do YouTube kind of thing. Some know some don't and if they find out I'm absolutely fine with that I really don't mind now the last question was about pets whether the girls asked about pets now we do have a gorgeous cat he's actually just behind the camera I'll put a picture here his name is Jack Jack we would love a dog in the future but it's not fair to have a dog in a flat in our opinion and we did have a gorgeous little kitty cat called Oreo um but he sadly passed away when I was pregnant with Olivia he had a um, an episode and sadly I couldn't bring him out of it but I don't think we've got any more cats at the moment just because Jack is quite settled and he's a very independent cat and quite happy but yeah um, that's my Q&A for you I really hope you enjoyed it I'm so grateful for you all literally um, you're just such a lovely bunch of people and thank you for all the lovely questions and all the video suggestions as well but yeah i really do hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you're new here and you've just found me and you want to click that subscribe button it would mean the world to me and i shall see you very soon for another video